I was introduced to essential oils many years before doTERRA, actually back in 1996. Long, long story short, many years later, um, a little tiny bottle of frankincense, just those little sample bottles that we've all seen floating around. Um, that was my first doTERRA oil experience. As we were getting started, the company had this phenomenal concept of, of this founders program, this founders club, if you will, as an incentive to really fuel growth, right? To get people out moving and growing and running uh, their business, to hit a certain rank, to hit a certain level, to be one of these founders. It was super exciting. It fueled a lot of growth. Uh, people were running because this is a part of our compensation that once those positions are filled, it's over. Right, it's gone. And now this amazing thing has happened 12 years later, right? We're having Founders Club 2.0, right? We're doing this again, uh, slightly different, uh, because now we're gonna have 200 positions and the original Founders Club there was 25. The great thing is the potential is equally as large, if not bigger, today than it was 12 years ago. There's a few of those spots that have already been claimed, but the vast majority are totally wide open. And so if you're considering it, thinking about it at all, you are not too late. Uh, you absolutely can start right now. I think some of those spots will be claimed by people that aren't even part of doTERRA yet, right? They're not even enrolled yet. Let me talk directly to you. If you are considering this, which I hope you are, um, please understand that people are more excited and more impressed and more motivated to use the oils to change their health. If you share with them why, you're doing this. People are far more motivated when they find out why you do what you do. So as you embark on this journey, please share with people your reason. What is your passion? What is your purpose? What is your mission? What is your vision? What is your why? Because really that's what they want to know. And that's what's going to help them join you in this amazing journey to Founders 2.0. Hi doTERRA, I'm here today with Justin Harrison. My name's Sarah Marie and I'm the general manager of the US. Justin is our master distributor, which means he is the one who jumped in and joined doTERRA in the very beginning when there was nothing, took a huge chance on this opportunity. There's nothing. <laughs> and today, do you feel like that was a good decision? It was a good decision. Yeah? I think so, yeah. Okay, so in the beginning, we had something that kicked off the US market and really doTERRA as it began to grow and that was a Founders Club. That's right. And you were the first founder, right? Yes. So tell us about what it was like to run for founder that very first time. <laughs> in one word, intense. Uh, it was intense, it was exciting, actually. It created a lot of excitement, a lot of urgency, because it's like part of the compensation plan that is there, but it goes away, right? Whereas everything else is there forever. And so this has a, once it's full, it's full and it's over. Right. So it created this huge sense of urgency and excitement, right, to go out and and just get it done as quickly as possible. So how many people were going for founders? Oh, goodness. Um, hundreds. Yeah. You know, and it's now, now keep in mind, this was in the very beginning. Hundreds was a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. <laughs> because, <laughs> because there were only 25 spots in this. That's part. right. Yeah. We had 25 spots and uh, hundreds and maybe even maybe there was even thousands by the time it was getting towards the end you know, of going for it. But uh, we were so young as a company that, you know, no one knew what we were doing, no one had heard of us. And so it created this really unique opportunity to just drive momentum and drive urgency and get people engaged. And so. what did that feel like at the time? Oh, it was exhilarating. It was exhilarating. What was most exhilarating though is, I mean, yeah, of course, you know, we hit founder and then, you know, a few others hit founder and a few others. And where it got crazy intense is when there was only like five spots left, like 20 of the 25 were gone, mm -hmm. already taken, already claimed. And there was like five spots left. And that's when it, I, I started to observe that's where you don't want to be. <laughs> so now we have this new founders club, founders 2.0, yeah. which is the next billion dollars of the that's US, right. which is a huge opportunity. Crazy. It's very similar to the first one, except <clears throat> this one has 200 spots but it also is 2%. Right. So it's a bigger pool with more people. So right now we have one, two, three people who are, you know, right, right there, there at that thousand points. What's going to happen in six months? 
<laughs> so, so definitely this is something you should be looking at doing, right? You should be looking at doing this because of the urgency it will create for your business and the resources that it will free up for you, right? The compensation that will free up for you for your business or for your, whatever cause or purpose you're all excited about. Um, but you're going to have this crazy amount of growth in a relatively short amount of time. And, and just like in our Founders Club, uh, you want to do this now, okay? And I think there will people. I think there will be people in our founders club that are not even in DoTerra yet. For sure. Right? They're not even enrolled yeah. yet. They're not even here. Right? Uh, they'll come on board the next few months, and they'll get excited, and they'll engage, and they'll claim one of the latter founder positions. Right? Mm -hmm. Uh, we think maybe a year or so from now when it all gets filled up, right? Whatever that actually ends up being. And um, my, my message to you right now would be don't wait. <laughs> don't wait because just like I got to observe the last five people contending for founder spots in the original Founders Club, you don't want to be in that last group of 50 in the new Founders Club 2.0 because that last group of 50 is going to have thousands of people fighting for that those 50 spots and and while it's going to be exciting for sarah and i to observe this and cheer you on and and, Get some popcorn. and, and help and support and and everything that we do right uh it's going to be a little bit intense for you and so my recommendation is let's do that sooner so you don't have that craziness right that's great and what challenges came up along the way as you were pushing for founder <laughs> well, our challenges are probably a little bit different than current day challenges because our challenges were just having product sell. Because <laughs> okay. that was a problem, actually. And yeah, we have stock outs a little bit here and there now. But you no, know, this was like, like we didn't have lavender <laughs> or we didn't have lemon. Like we didn't have like we would run out of stuff because we were just brand new. Right. We had very limited resources and very limited. We had no Hand website. Handling of bottles. Yeah, we had no website, no product catalog. We, we used to fax in enrollment forms and orders. Fax. If you're under 40, ask someone over 40 what that is. Because uh, <laughs> it was like dinosaur, right? And so our challenges were just getting the product out. But once we got the product out, it did all the work. So things weren't perfect. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. People say all the time, I wish I could have been in doTERRA in the very beginning. And my response is, no, you don't. <laughs> Actually, you don't. Uh, but they are in, the, in doTERRA at the beginning of a new beginning. They are. Well, and here we are coming up on this year. We'll be 13 years old, right, in April. And that's still so young for a, a company like ours. I mean, there are companies in our profession that are 50 years old, mm -hmm. right, and older. And so it's like, we're, we're actually still young. And those companies young. are still growing. Mm -hmm. They still have significant opportunity. Yep. So sometimes I hear that maybe this ship has sailed, that the opportunity for doTERRA yeah. is gone. And I get that question. And how do you feel about that? Do you still feel like your team is growing, that things are exciting? Oh, totally. So, so here's how they usually ask me the question. I feel like the market is saturated and that, and that everybody's already in, right? And I'm like, well... I promise you not everybody's already in because I know how big our company is and that's only a very small fraction of the population, right? Yeah. A very small fraction. And, and really saturation doesn't exist. Um, and I can prove it to you right now. Just to use an example everyone can probably at least be familiar with or relate with. Um, Christianity. It's been on the planet for over 2,000 years. Has it saturated the planet? No. It has not. Not even close. Right? We're not going to do better. <laughs> okay? We're not going to do better. So, so whether it's here in the U.S. or anywhere else in the world, uh, saturation is a total myth. Right? There is so much room for growth. And even here in the United States, and you know this better than anyone because this is your market, um, the U.S. is like so prime for that second wave of momentum. With everything that's going on in the world today, there's never been a higher demand. There's never been a higher need for what we have to offer. Like, never. I mean, we launched doTERRA back in 2008 when there was also a lot of need, right? And a lot of demands, and it was the recession, and it was all this turmoil. And we kind of have that all again now, right? And so it's like, gosh. And what's funny is when we were working on Founders 2.0, we didn't know all this was going to happen. Did it? Right? We had no clue. It just oh. kind of, like, did it, right? And so the timing is ideal. Okay, so Justin, let's talk about that for a minute. Founders was being worked on back at the beginning of 2020. And you as original founders decided that you wanted to create another huge opportunity for this next wave of leaders to come. 
When you were thinking about what that means, like who is the next wave of leaders? How did you want this to help our current leaders? What was your hope? So my observation in the 13 years we've been here almost, and many years prior in this profession, um, if you can fuel someone's hunger, and I don't mean for lunch. <laughs> I have to clarify that for the guys, right? If you can feel someone's hunger, because that's an, actually the number one ingredient for success, is the hunger for change, hunger for something bigger than themselves, right? If you can fan that flame, if you can feed that hunger, that's all that needs to happen, right? And so this new program is rocket fuel mm -hmm. for that flame, right? And so that was, that was why we got excited about it, is let's just dump some gasoline in the engine, rocket fuel actually, and see what happens. I love that. So if you were to think of this new program and who is this easiest for? Oh man. Uh, I would say the people that are out teaching, the people that are out actively sharing with new people. Okay, this is for you, right? Because when you look at the points, and I know we're not getting into all of that right now, but how you earn the points for the program, mm -hmm. yes, you have to be enrolling new people yourself, but also finding in those people, helping them advance, takes care of you, right? It takes you to founder. And so those that are out actively enrolling and teaching and training, they're gonna be the ones that claim these spots. Okay, so you just said something I wanna ask you another question about. So you are a founder. But you also have several of your qualifiers who are founders. What is it like to have a qualifier that's a founder? As some of our leaders might be out there thinking like, I don't know if founders is for me, but what if they were to recruit someone <laughs> oh who goodness. went for founders? What is it like to have founders on your team? So I would say it's total security, right? In your business. So if you had, if you had several of your qualifiers or even just one or two that were founders in the United States, are, are, are they ever gonna go somewhere else? I don't think so, no. right? They're not. I mean, that would be un inconceivable, right? So, so it gives you total stability, total security um, in, in your future, in your business. And I would, I would encourage, in fact, to me, that excites me more than, than me being a founder. Because if all my people are founders, we're set, yeah. right? We're set. It's awesome. Okay, let me ask you this question, maybe to wrap up and end on. There's a lot of challenges that come along the way when you're building a founders club, when you're building any business, right? Like this is no different. Like there's going to be challenges and there's going to be opportunity. And yeah, as you sure. think about those challenges, what makes someone special or what makes it so that someone actually hits that in spite of these challenges where everyone has this opportunity, everyone's going to be faced with challenges. What actually helps someone make it to founder? Is there a certain type of person that overcomes those challenges or moves on, moves through them easier to take one of those spots? Um, I, I wouldn't say, as, as you know, because you have a bird's eye view, if you look at the leaders in doTERRA, we're all very different. Uh, different personalities, different strengths, different, I mean, the whole spectrum, right? Uh, some are very aggressive, some are not at all. And so yet all still successful, right? So I, I wouldn't say it's a personality type or a strength, uh, but what I would say is that it's tenacity, right? It's just refusing to stop because you will have days, guys, you will have days that you want to quit. Uh, you will. If you haven't had them, they're coming. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you. <laughs> okay. They're coming because you'll have days you think, man, is this worth it? It's so hard. So-and-so said she was going to enroll and now she's not. And, and all these things happen to us. I mean, we've all had, I, I can't tell you how many events I've had where no one came. Secret meetings, I call them because they were secret apparently, because no one showed up. <laughs> right. And it's okay. Right. It's okay. You just keep going. And that's the tenacity I'm referring to. You just have to keep moving forward and keep moving forward where the majority will quit, right? Or oftentimes do throw in the towel. So those that are gonna claim the spots are gonna keep moving forward. That's awesome. Any last tips of advice for those who are hoping to take one of those 200 founder spots that will really be life-changing? Uh, so times have changed, right? But they also haven't. 
Same business. Yeah, they also haven't changed. Uh, yeah, we've had to tweak some things. You know, we've all had this crazy love affair with Zoom, right? Or other online platforms, right? And so, yes, we're, we're having to tweak things a little bit, um, but what hasn't changed is the need, right? People need our product. Many of them need our business, not all of them, but many of them do. And so if we keep that in mind and focus on what's in it for them, and that's my, my advice to all of us, if we focus on what's in it for them and not what's in it for us, okay? Yes, you're trying to hit Founder 2.0 or you're trying to hit Diamond or whatever it is, and, and, and you need this enrollment to be, you know, 500 PV or even more to, that might not be the best need for them. Right, and they'll sense that, they'll feel that, and it's not worth sacrificing the relationship. And so focus on their need, what's in it for them, offer that solution, and then just keep moving forward. Love that. I love the message that you've really shared today, which is keep moving forward, whether you're just starting out, whether you're not in doTERRA yet, whether you're a leader looking for those next founders to join your team. Yeah. It is a message that the way to win this game is to keep moving forward consistently. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. This was great. Thanks for inviting and me. And we're excited to see who of you will be on our next Founders Call. Woohoo! Go do it. Go do it. <laughs>